Hey guys, it's Billy. I'm a designer and today I'm going to show you how to make an Animal Crossing avatar display picture on Procreate. Okay, so first off, I started out by creating a square canvas and turning my drawing assist on. I went straight to edit drawing guide and symmetry on the bottom right. From there, I went and selected a pencil for the sketching effect. I did a curve from the outside into the middle to create this upside down arch shape for the face. Then I did an arch inside this arch with two little lines for the eyelashes, a line underneath and an oval shape for the pupils. Then I did a little circle for the nose, you could do a triangle and then just another curve for the smile. Then I went on to the hair and of course you can play around with this. I went in with just the general short curved shape for my character that I have in the game. Then the neck and the arms. The neck is pretty thin for these characters. and then finish it off with a round, almost circle shape for the hands. Once this was done, I went and picked a new color for the pencil and created a new layer. This was so that I could add some accessories onto the character. I added some ears and earrings and also gave it some eyebrows. And then just added a little scrunchie on the top and a ponytail to just give her hair a little bit more volume. And that is the sketch all done. So now onto the outline. I made a new layer and chose to use a slightly lighter than black colour so it would be a little softer. And I used this boho brush that I will put a link in for the description, it's free. Make sure that the drawing assist is on because it will just keep everything looking nice and symmetrical and it is just way less work for you to do. Check you're happy with the thickness of the brush and then go ahead and just copy over your sketch. Once that outline is done, duplicate the layer to make sure that you always have a layer of just the outline on the top in case you want to do things like clipping masks. Then use the layer underneath the top outline layer to start colouring in. You might want to try out with some different colour palettes. You can go on Pinterest for some inspiration, but I just stick with the colours from my character in my own game for simplicity's sake here. Then I added a layer in between the colour and outline layer, turned the drawing assist on and gave her some blush, highlight the eyes and added a couple of strokes to the hair. From here, I just added some jewellery and then turned the opacity down on a lighter colour of the shirt to create this crisscross effect on my character's sleeves. Once I was happy with that, I deleted the sketch layers and merged together the rest of the layers. I made one last layer and created a circle tapping the screen so that it stays symmetrical. I decided to use orange for my character, obviously you can use whatever colour you like. Put the circle right in the middle, then swapped the two layers so that the circle was behind the character on top. Then I just used the selection tool in the top left corner to adjust the size of the character to keep her inside the circle.
I changed the colour of the background and there we have it, a cute little Animal Crossing character you can use across all of your socials. Please do like and subscribe for more Procreate and marketing content, it's all very much appreciated. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again soon.